What if we could reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease and save many people from developing dementia? For those who have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's in its earliest stages, what if we could slow down its progression so that individuals could live fuller and more meaningful lives? Dr. Kalsa, tell us a little bit more about your work in this field. Well, it's really great to be with you uh, here today to discuss the Alzheimer's Research and Prevention Foundation. It was close to 20 years ago when I was at the University of Arizona's teaching hospital in Phoenix that I made an, a discovery, and this discovery was called brain longevity. And basically what this was was the idea that we could prevent and reverse in some cases memory loss and Alzheimer's disease by using what I call the four pillars. This is diet and supplements, stress management, which is critically important, all types of exercise, physical exercise, mental exercise, as well as medication when they work and when they're indicated. Well, the conventional medical establishment has always seemed to reject the notion that Alzheimer's can be prevented, choosing instead to really focus on the promise of drugs. And today, the medical community appears to be embracing the potential of prevention. Is this vindication of your nearly 20 years of work in this field? Well, I wouldn't call it vindication of me necessarily. I think it's vindication of the work that we've done and the science behind it. Uh, we know that this work is there, that uh, the four pillars can't prevent Alzheimer's disease, and by doing that, we'll, we'll be doing a lot of great things for humanity. Uh, recently, Dr. Ronald Peterson of the Alzheimer's Association in their conference in Paris, France, uh, stated that uh, they now are ready to embrace the idea uh, of prevention of Alzheimer's using a lifestyle approach, and I'm thrilled, actually, that they're now in the camp of prevention. I think that's marvelous. Well, Dr. Kossel, last year, Maria Shriver and Sandra Day O'Connor wrote in the Washington Post that cure and prevention are the best strategies for dealing with Alzheimer's. How has your work influenced the public's attitude about prevention? Well, I think prevention is the best cure for the disease. And, you know, I've done a, a lot of work in this. I've testified before Congress. I believe I was the first physician to bring this brain longevity platform to Washington, D.C. After that, I met, I had a private meeting with Dr. Carmona, the Surgeon General at that time. And he said something remarkable to me. He said, Dr. Kalsa, your work should now be considered mainstream. And I think since that time, you know, we have have done everything possible with the foundation to uh, share this work with the public and we're again we're very glad that the Alzheimer's Association is now uh, doing that. Well getting back to Dr. Peterson of the Alzheimer's Association he recently stated that we can reduce the number of people who develop Alzheimer's by as much as 50 percent. Now among the lifestyle influences that you prescribe as part of an integrative strategy the four pillars as you've said uh, which of them is showing the most promise? Well, obviously, they're all important. You know, what you eat is critically important. I believe supplements are important. We all know now that physical exercise is important. Mental exercise is important. They're all important. But where we have actually gone uh, from the basics now to the next level, to the really cutting edge of research, is on our work with what we call Kirtan Kriya. This is a, a memory exercise, a meditative memory exercise. And we've done groundbreaking, innovative research now at the University of Pennsylvania at UCLA. We have other studies going on that shows that this simple 12-minute exercise augments the brain. It increases blood flow to the brain. It makes the brain stronger. It's like uh, going to a gym for your brain. It stimulates certain areas of the brain. And we actually showed that we could prevent memory loss. We had uh, subjects who had memory loss who did this exercise 12 minutes a day for eight weeks, and they reversed their memory loss. And this was published in the very prestigious Journal of Alzheimer's Disease. So we think that our work now is really on the thoughtful cutting edge now where you can do this exercise 12 minutes a day and it will do a lot to increase what Dr. Peterson calls cognitive resiliency and cognitive reserve. It stimulates the brain. It's like, I, today I went to the gym myself. I worked out for my biceps, for my chest, for my legs and all that. And you can do the same thing for your brain. Doing this exercise, I'm really excited about it. It's like doing push-ups for your brain. It just, it creates more strength, more muscle in your brain and has an anti-aging effect and makes your brain much stronger. What particular part of the brain then is being impacted by this daily exercise? Well, that's what's so wonderful about it. Many areas are the frontal part of the brain, which is very important. This is the CEO of the brain. It also uh, is important for attention, concentration, focus. Uh, we stimulate with Kirtan Kriya, we stimulate an area of the brain called the posterior cingulate gyrus, a very medical term. It's an anatomical term, but just think of it 
like your bicep again. And the posterior cingulate gyrus is so important because this is the first area that goes down in function on a scan when a person gets Alzheimer's. So I say by stimulating the posterior cingulate gyrus every day for only 12 minutes a day, we may actually be able to prevent Alzheimer's disease just with this one simple exercise. Now everyone would say, oh, this is too simple. Well, sometimes the simplest things are the ones that work. The old idea that as you age, your mental function, your memory is going to go downhill, I think is out the window. I think now we know that as we age, we can actually improve our mental function and maintain and improve our memory. And that is great news for everybody. Some encouraging news from Dr. Dharma Singh Khalsa of the Alzheimer's Research and Prevention Foundation. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. It's been a great pleasure.